everybody, it's Christine. Time for a scrap lip craft afternoon. We'll have the links below because as usual, I have, I've forgotten her name. I'm so sorry, but we'll have the links below. Um, it's a, a layout with a, a nice big mixed media and it looks like stitching here. I don't do stitching, so we're not gonna be doing that, but I'll figure something out. But then there's all these little tickets that go across here and then she's got four little photos kind of nestled in with a big title. That's probably acrylic. I don't have any acrylic, so we'll figure something out there. And um, a couple little word phrases. So maybe some little flair in here. So it's kind of neat. Spratters and all kinds of stuff. And what I have is these pictures of my daughter. They're not horizontal, um, but I think I can, you know, make these kind of work or something. But it's hard. We were in 2018 Colorado Springs at a lacrosse thing. And their coach had organized for them to go to, I think it was the Olympic something or other. And then they were, she, a little kickboxing or whatever. And then I have this die there. It's tickets. You don't have to use this piece in the middle. It pops out. So it'll take me a few minutes though, y'all. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cut all these. I'll have to do that off camera. And then I have this blue ink. It's called Admiral. I looked at the red, but I got a little worried. It's going to look like blood. <laughs> and she's got the boxing thing going on. So I thought that might not be wise. And then I picked up this, um, Simple Stories, America the Beautiful. But I do like the red and the blue and stuff like that. I, don't, I wouldn't use probably the flags and whatnot, although it is at the Olympic Center. So I don't know, maybe. We'll have to see. And then I like this little font here. I got to figure out a title though, y'all. I got to figure out a title. So that's where we're starting. Let me get to cutting the tickets. That's going to take me longest, I think. And I'll come back on soon. All right, gang. This is kind of the tail end of my photo matting here. I just figured I'd show you what I did. I did mat the photo first on the little blue plaid. Um that I've cut the tickets out of, and you'll see those in just a minute. And then I went ahead and matted the second one on the red, like floral looking thing, um, which you'll also see in just a moment, because I have cut all my tickets out with my dies. They're just up at the top up there. You can't really see them just yet. So I'm just gonna kind of sit here and honestly fast around these photos for just a second to kind of figure out, okay, how big a space are they taking up? And you know, where do I need to put my inks? And if I'm honest, I'm looking at this thing right now. <laughs> The photos don't end up exactly there. They're kind of in that general area, but that's not exactly where they end up. So this pencil marks were kind of a waste of time, but you know, it made me feel good. So we're going to just, just, just pretend it worked just out fine. So I'm going to tell y'all this blue, I was really scared because I don't always do good with my mixed media, but y'all this turned out so good. I was so happy. So I used my craft mat and I squirted my blue on there. Um, and then I squirted a little bit of water and I'm like, okay, all right. So I got my baggie and I'm like, okay, how can I make this work? And it went on and look, y'all, it turned out really good. <laughs> a lot of times when I try the packaging technique, I actually like squish it too much or do something. I end up way more, I don't know, like less distinct or something. I mean, I know the packaging technique is supposed to be, you know, with no real shape or anything like that, but I, like I said, I was just really pleased with this. Now, that all being said, I ended up definitely with a way bigger uh, shape than she had on her page. Um, really, basically, because my pictures are up and down. So, it kind of had to be bigger just to have my pictures kind of fit. So, here's where my little tickets are. There's two little shapes. Um, I didn't make them the same shape because, honestly, I didn't want to sit and cut one at a time. So, I cut two at a time. It still took me probably, I don't know, close to 10 minutes or something just to cut the tickets because I had to do two at a time. On a couple three, I think I used three strips about two and a half inches wide to get on my tickets. I end up with a couple of extra, not many though. I think just two, maybe three, two or three extra. But otherwise, I thought this turned out real good. I put this, I'm kind of organizing it. I'm just making it where um, different patterns aren't touching or whatever. I don't know that she, I mean, on hers, of course, hers were actual tickets with the word ticket and things like that. So might have been more effective that way, but I like this, how this turned out. Now, what I'm going to end up doing, and I'll cut away because it takes me a little while, is I'm going to use like pop dots on the ends of on the ends of some, and then I'll flatten. So, it's to make it look kind of like, well, hers looks to me like she's kind of like caused a little wave or whatever with it because they're attached, I believe, still. Um, obviously, mine are not attached to each other. So, I'm going to use like pop dots to create that like wave effect, but that's going to take me just a minute. So, I'm going to cut away. And this is kind of the end of me gluing these down. Um, it, it doesn't really matter which ones because it's kind of random anyways. But like there's a handful of the little black with the stars on it. I, like I said, I put the pop dot on one side versus and left the other side flat. You might be able to tell in the pictures. I'm not 100% sure if you can tell in the video here. You might can if you look kind of close. And then I'm going to add a little pop dots on, the, on a couple of the pictures um, just because they, well, really just that one. I think the other one kind of because it's on the top of 
tickety pieces that are kind of lifted. It kind of gives them a sense of a wave as well because they lift up. I kind of like that look. You know, it's kind of like multi-dimensional or whatever. Um, that, that I think it looks kind of neat. So anyways, I put my pictures down. I'm just organizing them. I'm trying to make sure that the, the photos where she's looking in are pointing toward the middle. So you can kind of see the two on the left, she's kind of looking to the right, and the one on the right, she's looking to the left. And then the top one, she's kind of looking right at you. So that's how I decided where the, pho the photos were going to go. And then I did kind of just wonk them a little bit. And again, I, I think this, I mean, it looks like this the layout in, in a sense, but because my photos are up and down, I did end up having to go deviate just a little bit. Now, I've got this font here, and I'm trying to figure out what's my title going to be. And I actually cut away in just a second because I called my husband. I said, hey, what can I call this? And he <laughs> he said, oh, Rocky Balbino. <laughs> And that's actually kind of funny, except that would have been way too long. So I end up with Lil Rocky is what I end up with. <laughs> um, I mean, technically she's kicking too, so it's not really boxing. It's kind of, you know, it's a kickboxing, I guess. But I thought the title was kind of funny. And then I'm going to glue these two little tickets at the bottom to kind of hold the title. She had her title kind of nestled in a bunch of the tickets, and I think this kind of works. Um so yeah, I'm going to put a little Rocky down here, and then I, you can see I've got some enamel dots up there at the top, and I will pull out a couple of stickers um, off the sticker sheet there, just a couple of florals. She had like a little flare and stuff, and I didn't, I don't have any flare. I need to probably pick some up, actually. Um, I did get into my little uh, Tim Holtz small talk, the snarky one, and I found a line that said, in my defense, I was left unsupervised. Now, technically, there's a little old gentleman there supervising her, but, you know, still, it's kind of funny. And then the other one said, I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I laughed when I read those because, um, yeah, she really didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> he just had her hidden things. and she. My husband looked at the one picture where she's kicking the bag, and he goes, her form is terrible. Her hands should be in front of her face. I'm like, baby, it was just playing around, but anyways. Um, so here's when I take these enamel dots. I'm going to use, I thought just to use the red originally, and I do end up using some of the little light blue. I don't know if I should have because there's not really any, well, I guess there's a little light blue on the black black tickets, but it's not the same shade, but I don't know. I think with this point, with all the blues going on and reds going on, it's totally fine. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stick some of these little enamel dots around here. I actually, I don't take a picture or anything. Um, I was sitting here looking at the layout and I go, you know, you didn't write where this was or anything. So I do take a black pen, but it's not on camera and I don't actually even take a picture of it. But underneath the bottom journaling strip there or that little phrase that I, I like to announce, I do just write Colorado Springs 2018 with little black pen so you know where it's at. Um, I'm just checking out the layout here, making sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, you know, where do I kind of need to put these little enamel dots? And I put them in four places. I put it in the upper left, uh, the lower right, or the, in my, kind of the middle right, I guess, and the lower left is floral, and then like by the title a little bit. And then after I do that, I thought, looked at this and I thought, okay, do I need any sprinkles or anything? I'm like, no, you don't need any sprinkles. <laughs> You've got enough ink and everything going on here. I did have to use some Nuvo glue on my little snarky phrases right there because they were very, uh, they didn't have much adhesive going on, y'all. So I do have to use a little bit of Nuvo glue down there, but then that is all I'm going to do this layout. I think this turned out kind of neat. I'm not unhappy with it at all. And um, like I said, it's a little bigger than hers in the way of the shape and stuff, but I like it. I think it's cool. So there you go. There's the close-up. Take a look there. Don't forget to check out the playlist. We'll have her links below uh, and also the other ladies playing along. Every week kind of varies just because some people have to take off for life and that sort of thing. So you'll have to take out the playlist and the little list and all that good stuff. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And then you can check me out on Instagram at Scrapping Harden. See you soon. Bye.